Hey YouTube, sorry this is a little late. I wanted to post something else about a week ago, but it kept crashing, so I couldn't be able to put it on. And It's like some sort of a new app that I got, and it just wasn't working. I got through the prep phase, and then it wants me to log into YouTube, then I do that, and almost immediately the thing crashes. So, I apologize for that, and to make it up, I'll give you an extra little tour of my 3DS um, that's going on with my downloaded content collection. So let's move this over here carefully. Sorry, that's a little noisy. Let's lower this. Okay, so we've got the 3DS. This is kind of how I'm going to be doing my, um, you know, these handheld Let's Plays. I'm going to be like this, in this position, so let's go on. So I have different folders in here. I have eight different folders. There's my new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity. That cannot go into a folder. And I believe that can't go into a folder, but this can. But I want to keep these two right next to each other at the end. So, right here I have a bunch of stuff that comes with. We got the download play, AR games. Face Raiders. I only played this thing once. Then we've got Activity Log, Me Maker, Street Pass Me Plaza, then Nintendo Zone, and something I downloaded called Swap Pass. So I can just. Uh, you can send messages to other people. So here I have a bunch of 3D games. Over here is more newer stuff. And over here is older. But I tried to organize things. So there's Mutant Muds. Then V V V V V V. That's right. That's how you pronounce it. With six V's. Then there's Art of Balance Touch. I do not have the Wii version of this. So a lot of this stuff I don't have the Wii version. There's Pyramids. It's kind of a strange uh, puzzle platformer type of a game. And Quetzal's Corridors, that you go through lots of different walls and collect hearts and lots of other different stuff. Speedex 3D, I decided not to get the Hyper Mode because I really don't think I should get the Hyper Mode of this. This isn't really all that exciting all by itself, but Speedex 3D, you're going down this long tunnel, and try not to hit anything. And then there's Crash Mo and Push Mo. Very, very fun puzzle games. And then there's Pix 3D and Picross E. I don't care if it's like Picross, but it just has an E or Pie Cross or Picross E from Canada, but I'm just gonna call it Picross E. We have Escape Vector. All these four over here are all new. Escape Vector is really it's very nice. You're you're going through all these different nodes and there's lines that you have to go across. It's very fun. And Mario vs. Mario and Donkey Kong, excuse me. Minis on the move. He's on the move. Those minis are moving. Now, notice that this is not Mario versus Donkey Kong, it's Mario and Donkey Kong. So they've become much greater friends, they're not fighting anymore. And then this is the fluidity spin cycle that I said that I probably can't do because you're like, Whoa. and all that junk. So, yeah. 
Then we have over here is DSiWare games. There's Legend of Zelda Four Swords. I got this free at the time. I got it. Then there's Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis March Again. It's basically like Mario vs. Donkey Kong 3, per se. And then Bloons Tower Defense for 3DS. It's basically like Bloons Tower Defense 3, but yeah. Then there's 10 Second Run. It's very difficult, but it's it can go by pretty quickly. And Abyss, this can go very quickly, but again, it can be difficult. But once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. And this isn't what these two aren't really the best games in the world. Down here, I have Virtual Console. These are getting smaller and smaller menus by the second. We have uh, Donkey Kong, which is basically. Mario vs. Donkey Kong before the Game Boy Advance version. And we've got, oh, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. Kirby's Block Ball. Uh, have you ever played those, like, Blockbuster games? Not Blockbuster, the company, but where there's, like, the bar on the bottom and you're bouncing the ball and hitting the blocks. That's basically what it is, but it's Kirby. And that's very fun. And then there's Mario's Picross. It's like Picross E, but way a long time ago. Now I have different apps that I have. There's the two that come with the game, 3DS Camera and 3DS Sound. Then there's Pokedex 3D Pro. It already comes with all of the Pokemon with it. And then there's Pokedex 3D, which is free. I haven't unlocked anything, everything in this. Also, the pro version has quizzes and stuff, so it's more than just a Pokedex. It's actually kind of a game in itself, but not really. Here is a bunch of demos. We have Brain Age Concentration Training and Harmonite demo. I used to have a few other demos, but when I got the games and I was like, oh yeah, I need to create some more space, I got rid of those. I had like Crush 3D and Mutant Muds, some other stuff. Over here we have videos, just like with my demos. I have Netflix on here, and I hardly ever look at the Nintendo videos stuff or anything. And my only video that I still have left is the Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds trailer. That's pretty cool. And over here I just put all my download laters, but I have no download laters left. And there's absolutely nothing over here, so we can tap this to create smaller groups, or bigger groups per se. That's as big as it can go, and you can just go like all the way over there. And then you can even go down. No, wait, no. You can go smaller to one, which is basically the things are the same size as in two, but it has the words right there. I don't think I need that so much, so I just stick with two like this. Plus, I can just go like that, and it's not that big of a deal. And there's brightness over here. I use power saving mode. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it is a little darker. We have game notes over here. Oh, this was from a swap note. Uh, where you enter this into the Pokedex 3D Pro, and then you get a new Pokemon. But I don't know how to do that yet, so I don't know what to do. And I don't remember what this was for. I think this was like some sort of a code to put in one of my games. I don't, I don't know what that was for, but you can do lots of other stuff with that. And then the orange box is friends, and uh, green is notifications, and blue is internet. 
so you can access the internet on here. And that's my 3DS. Up there you can see how many steps you've walked with the uh, uh, game in sleep mode. And then play coins like that. And I am connected to the internet and I have full charge. And boop. Oh, come on. There we go. I can just activate the camera. Oh, looky. Oh, what's over there? Let's set this down. Now, I have one last anecdote for you. And it's about numbers. Now, I think 64 is a pretty cool number and all that. You know, Nintendo 64, my house number is 64, what a coincidence, but I have to say the number 49 stalks me. I mean, a lot of the times when I look at the clock randomly, it's just whatever, and then 49, I'm like, and sometimes if I'm like running late or something, and I look at my watch, and I'm like, it would be 749 right now, and we got... The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn in English, and guess what book number it is? 07-49. Will you look at that? Oh my god. 07-49. And you know, 49 is 7 times 7, so I guess it's kind of a lucky number too, but that's just really freaky. Oh well. So, uh, let's go back to home menu, and that's, that's it. This was a longer just collection video because I wanted you guys to have a little bit more because I've been away for so long. So, Seal Nintendo is signing off. I'm sorry I took so long to get something out there. Bye-bye.